My name is Helen James and I'm the Senior Curator of Natural Sciences for National Museums Northern Ireland, Ulster Museum. Right now we are at a site called Carn Daisy which is in the catchment of the Ballandoli River system. It's one of the sites that we are surveying for freshwater insects, collaborating with Ballandoli Rivers, looking at the quality of the water and also looking at species diversity in all of the different sites. Most of the water quality monitoring done round and about across the whole of the UK and Ireland is done at family level which misses a lot of the detail and so what we are doing is coming in looking at what species occur particularly focusing on three really important freshwater groups the mayflies, stoneflies and caddisflies. These are particularly widely used as indicators of water quality change and they're really important also in that they're quite sensitive to things like climate change and temperature and so we go around and we measure simple water quality parameters such as the pH, the temperature and basically some of the salts that are in the water. There's a lot of different techniques for collecting these creatures. Um, for a start one has to realise that most of their life cycle is spent in the water and they only emerge for a brief period in the adult stage. So to collect the aquatic life stages, we have various nets. Um, so there's a long-handled net that we tend to put in the water. We may kick the stones gently upstream and the animals that are loosened will then float into the net. And uh, we also use hand nets for sweeping the vegetation to get to adults. We have beating trays to catch things that might be sitting on leaves and we just bang the leaves and the creatures will fall into the beating tray and then we pick them off. And then we have light traps, and these come in various different forms. Little traps that you leave overnight and collect the next day. This has a sort of ultraviolet, all these lights have an ultraviolet component and this attracts the insects. And then also there is a, a malaise trap, which is a kind of tent, which has black panelled um, netting in the lower parts and white netting for the roof part. And the insects fly along the stream into that and then because the upper part is white, they fly up to that and then they go into a bottle because they go to the highest point and then they get trapped in that and then collected. It's actually good to look in as many different habitats as you possibly can to get a proper reflection of the diversity of any river system. So we'll be collecting several hundred specimens during these three days that we're out in the field, probably more than several hundred, and each of these has to be examined and looked at and identified. So three days in the field produces six months' work before we get any answers. We give each sample a field number and we write information about the site in our notebook, our field notebook. And then of course each little bottle that we have is full of multiple different species, so these get taken back to the lab and then they have to be sorted into the different groups, given a museum catalogue number, a vellum number in our case, and then identified down to species. This information in the long run will be put onto our database and then further uploaded onto public platforms so that information can be used by anyone who needs to do research on this. The information is useful for the NIEA and DERA to compare sites, it's useful for the Ballandary Rivers Trust, and we will also write um, up the research and scientific papers.